Guys, the chicken is here bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be steering off the path and doing something a little bit different. But first, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, in about two weeks from now, I'm doing a, a pretty huge giveaway for everyone that was kind enough to use the, coast, the code chicken in the shop. Uh, so I do appreciate it if you put this in and it does help me out a little bit and I'm going to be giving back to you guys in the community for doing this. So all you have to do to enter that is just simply use the code when you buy something in the game and uh, send me a screenshot or let me know in a YouTube comment or something like that and then I'll get a hold of you guys for the giveaway with the, which the details will be coming very very soon. So what we're doing today guys, what we got going on uh, today, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Now, <clears throat> what I would recommend, what I would recommend everybody do if you're kind of at this point, save up for six engines, get the GBE, and get Seekers as quickly as possible. Seekers are going to be the next meta. They're going to be dominating, and they're going to be uh, very, very powerful. What the chicken's going to do, this is a bit of a gamble. I actually haven't even talked to anyone about this yet. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is unlocking and upgrading the rocket launchers now you might think chicken that's just a waste of keys you're gonna set yourself back you know three days of getting the seekers by getting the rocket launchers but i don't know man it's a tough call every base that i go against that has max rocket launchers like they're they're just brutal um and from what i've heard from what i've heard rocket launchers are op uh towards the end of the season uh in later you know tech levels and stuff like that the rocket launchers are really um are really a big factor so um let's do it let's do it let's see what happens bit of an experiment bit of an experiment guys but uh you know that's why we're here sometimes it's for good information sometimes it's so you can learn to do not what the chicken does right so um we're going a little bit off kilter today but we'll see if it works maybe it'll play maybe it'll maybe it'll be good and maybe it'll be a big regret. I don't know just yet, but uh, we will find out. That much I do know. Um, let's switch. Let's um, let's go like this. Put the rocket uh, back here, and then we'll switch it with the machine gun. I think. There, so it's in the damage amp. Actually, what I'm gonna do is go like this as well, and try to get a couple more rockets into that damage amp if we can. Uh, we can move this up, and then I think we can actually fit that third one over there. And then we've got kind of a beefy punch over here. Now, those rockets are touching each other, so that's not ideal. Let's move everything up, just a tile, and something like that, I think. Now, they can all be hit with one shock, but then that's a shock that they can't use elsewhere. We'll mess around with it. We'll mess around with it, guys, and see what we can do. Um, but let's just get into it. <clears throat> let's get into some battles. And I think what I'm going to do next, before I go to six engines, is I'm also going to get the building damage. So, we got a ways to go, man. we got a ways to go. Um, okay, so this guy has... he He's got the same thing that we do, except he has the building damage. So, what we're going to do for this base is, since he has... Since he has um, all his defenses kind of like nicely spread out, uh, we're going to go <clears throat> not with Bullet, with Mr. The Good Doctor. We, we want to take The Good Doctor along with us. Um, and let's try this out. So we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then The Good Doctor in behind. And then we'll just kind of work our way on some stuff as we go up. And we'll take out that shock launcher. And I think we'll actually take out the next shock launcher as well. Uh, I'm not too concerned about these shock mines. They're pretty well spread out enough that we'll just kind of hit them naturally. One, two, three. And we'll save our shocks and critters. We'll probably need our critters pretty soon, but we'll save our shocks for closer to the end. Right now, what we need to be doing is using second wind. And trying to get, um, we got to keep our bomber safe for, for one. Uh, but yeah, you see, the rock launchers kind of suck until you get them uh, leveled up a little bit more. Uh, but let's try to do this. So what we want to have happen here when we're doing this is we want them to spread out um, kind of like they are. 
And we want them to go on basically like two different attack uh, formations. One to go to the left, one to go to the right. And... Okay, we're losing some bombers there, but we're also opening up that side of the base as well. Uh, okay, let's heal these dudes up. And what we're going to do from here is I think we're just going to shock and kind of clear everything. <coughs> Those bombers at the shock mine, that's fine. We're looking somewhat okay for time, I guess. And let's go like this. And, okay, those critters are going to be nice. As soon as the bomber's locked, then we want to reflare. Okay, there we go. A little bit late on that flare. It's really hard to, uh, it's really hard to get that flare right. And 2-5. Not a good time. Not a good time. I think the other guy screwed up on our base. Maybe the rockets helped. Maybe they did. I don't know. I think right now the rockets, like, at rank 3, they're not going to be very good. They're, they're probably going to hold us back, um... A little, well, not hold us back, but they're not going to provide much benefit uh, at rank 3. But we'll see what happens at rank 4. So we won that one, obviously. Uh, but let's see if the rockets helped us out at all. Let's try to break this down. Or if this guy just didn't know what he was doing. No offense to KK. Big shout out. Uh, this guy went rifle gramps. Rifle bombers. When I had all the... The damage damp rocket launchers. Interesting choice. Uh, very interesting choice. He tried to GBE out everything too, which I guess I put them in a kind of a st stupid spot. Uh, he basically got everything down by the time he got back there. But it took him all that GBE to do it. So we'll try it one more time. Maybe we got lucky there, but um, let's see what happens here, guys. We're slowly creeping up in the ranks as well. 22, 23. We gotta get to Legendary soon, man. We gotta get there one way or another. If it's with the help of rocket launchers, then so be it. And if it's not, then we'll find another way. But, <clears throat> here we go. Okay, this guy's got the front loaded base. So, what we learned in yesterday's video is how to do what we call the, uh, what is it, the Chinese flare. So, essentially, all that we do here, the whole idea is just to get the bombers to get off the boat and not climb up to the flags. And you do that with what's called a dead flare. So we flare to this boom cannon. Not twice. And then we go like this. And then the boom cannon goes down. And they and, and the bombers stay way there at the back. Now Kavan is scaring me a little bit. Oh my gosh. How did he go down that quick? I didn't even get a chance to see the guy. Well, whatever. So uh, we can critter this one. And we could probably critter this one, too. I don't know if the uh, rockets are going to... Yeah. One, two, one. It's at least going to distract those shock, that shock launcher, though, which is kind of nice. Okay, there we go. And let's go like this. Okay, that's good. And we'll shock over here. And okay, we got those critters down up there. We got these ones going down over here. 254, that's going to be a nice time, guys. And boom. So, I mean, if you're going to do the, the, <coughs> the, like that, the front loaded base like that, make sure that your, your troops can't just be crittered because that's, you know. If he just had a couple defenses back there, this could have been a whole different story here. Uh, so 220, that's not a great defense. I, th I, th I think we got to move the rockets. I think they're too clustered together. So, um, I don't think that really helped us out <laughs> that much in these. I honestly think we got a little bit lucky there with, uh, that base not being that good. And, uh, did he have four engines on that last one? Was that right? Well, you know what? We got him sub two minutes. That's kind of the goal on defense. Just barely, but how many engines that guy have? Engine room's left. Let's watch our replay. I'm having a bit of a brain fart here. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. That's why we won. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think that's going to wrap up for the uh, for the video today, guys. Um, let me know what you think of that down below in that comment section. And uh, 
yeah, we're an hour and a half away from our next chest. And uh, yeah, so for the giveaway, just use the code in the shop uh, when you buy something. And uh, make sure to just send me a screenshot on Discord, Twitter. Uh, let me know in the comments that you used it, whatever. Um, and we'll get you entered up in that. And I'm really excited because it's going to be a cool way to get back to you guys that have, uh, you know, helped support me by use of the creator boost. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back, back.